Muscle Channel and today's workout is a postpartum walking workout using light weights. This workout is suitable for moms with diastasis recti, after C-section, even moms with urinary incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse. I'm using a set of three pound weights. That is the heaviest I would recommend that you go. Feel free to use a set of two pounds, one pounds, or even if you don't have any weights, use a water bottle or cans of food. I promise you, you're still gonna feel it in your shoulders and your arms. As with any of my postpartum workouts, make sure to Go at your own pace. You don't have to go as fast as me. Listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, find a way to modify it. Maybe go a little bit slower, omit it, put the weights down, and above all, let's have some fun. All right, ladies, get ready. We're gonna have our weights just down to the side, and we're gonna do a little warm up first, right? We're gonna get nice and warmed up, and then we're gonna get into it. I want you to take nice big arm circles here. You got it. Last one. Good. Last tap. Side to side. Bring those arms up. I've got a 90 degree here with my arms. This is going to be fun, guys. I promise. Hope you got your weights out. One pound, two pound, max. Three pounds. Last couple ones here. Nice work. All right, let's take those heels back to our butt and let's do some bicep curls. Nice work. Good. Out and in. We're going to march it out and in. Good. Get nice and warm. And last one here. I want you to take your hands to your thighs. I just want you to drop one shoulder down. So I'm going to drop my right shoulder. Feel that nice stretch in your back. And let's drop the other one. And switch. And last one. Nice job. I want you to take your arms out in front of you. And I want you to pull back and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in your back. So you should feel that squeeze in the back. Those two scapula blades coming back together. Nice work. All right, last couple little ones here. And then we're gonna pick up those weights, okay? Now, remember, weights are optional. If you are feeling like, oh man, whew, the weights that I got are just too much, or it's too much for me in this time in my body, then I want you to just take it down, okay? Just put them down on the ground until you're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, we're just gonna march it out here. You guys got it. Nice work. All right, we're gonna take the heels to our butt. Bicep curls. And as usual, take it as slow as you need to. If I'm going a little bit faster than you want to, I want you to take it down a notch. All right, here's what we got. We're gonna walk forward, alternating bicep curls. Okay, you can do that and then walk back. We've got, still got the heel to the butt. Nice job. I know you're feeling those biceps already. All right, we're going to come back to center. Let's march it out. Okay, here's what we got with our arms. We're going to tap, tap. So palms facing upward and leading with the thumb. Oh yeah, you're feeling those shoulders now. I know it. All right, we're gonna take those arms down. Keep the legs. You got it right here. Here's what we got. Upright row with the side taps. Yes. I know those shoulders are burning. It's okay. Keep it up. Almost there. If you guys want to 
gonna do forward and back. Oh yeah, we can do that too. Come on, once you get back to home spot, we're gonna march it out. Whew, I know those shoulders are feeling it. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep these weights here. We're gonna come out and in, and in. So you're really squeezing as you extend in those triceps. Feeling the back of those arms. Come on, keep it up. If it's getting really tired, I want you to do one arm. Yeah, see this is how we take breaks and we modify things. When you're ready, come back both arms. Nice job. Come on, you got it. Oh, I know those arms. I know you're feeling those shoulders. All right. We've got three different circuits here today. Right now, if you need a drink, go ahead, grab one. We go through each of our three circuits two times. So you guys know what's happening next. All right, we've already gone through it. One more time through. All right, let's bring those arms up, march. Okay, we got heel to our butt with our bicep curls. for it we're gonna go alternating and then walk forward as one comes up the other one comes down when you are working out with weights I want you to make sure that you're protecting your wrist keep going with this movement but I want to show you we never want to be bending our wrist like this we always want our wrist to be nice in alignment with our forearm all the time. All right, guys, I know you're your biceps. March it out. You got it, come on. Bring those arms. Oh, last time we did up. Oh yeah, working these shoulders. We got tap, tap. Remember, if you're getting too tired in those shoulders, you can do every other one, right? Find ways to modify in your body because right now, this is how you're feeling. I want you to honor how your body's feeling if you need to rest. And then maybe the next time you do this video, you're a little bit stronger, feel a little bit more endurance, and you can do more. And that's exactly what it is about postpartum training and just getting back to moving. All right, we've got upright rows. Yeah. Guys, are you smiling yet? If you're not smiling, put a smile on that face. Right, we're having fun here. We're getting some sweat on. We're getting our strength on. We're moving our body, it feels good. Okay, we've got these arms here, out and in. You got it. Keep that march. Keep breathing. Guys, I know your shoulders are feeling it, don't worry. This is the last time through of this circuit here. Next circuit, circuit is all new exercises. Come on, last few seconds and we can rest. Oh yeah, put those weights down. Shake it out, grab some water. Ladies, while you're resting, I just want to 
take a moment to tell you time and time again, I have so many people DM me, message me here in the comments down below and say, I just don't know where to start. I've been doing some of your workouts. I see a little bit of uh, change, but I don't know where to go from here. Ladies, I take the guesswork out of it for you and I help you and I walk you through step-by-step, step, whether it's healing diastasis recti or getting strong in your core after having a C-section or even vaginal birth. Ladies, I lay it all out for you in virtual online training and I provide you with a program that is specific for you. So if you're tired of DIYing it, make sure to click the work with me link down below. Let's add up a time to chat and see if we're right to work together in online virtual training. And take those weights. Join me right here where you are. Side tap, side tap, before we get into it. Okay, what we're gonna do is stay still. We got punch and down, punch and down. I want you to join me. We're gonna go a little bit faster here. Yeah, you got it. Last two, right here. And two, good, switch. While that other arm is punching up the sky, the other one can rest on your shoulder. Come on, last two. Nice work, come on. Both legs, both arms. Okay, so talking about postpartum recovery. If you're punching up overhead, I'm gonna put my weights down here. If you're punching up overhead and you're seeing that, hold on, every time I do that, I got this coning or this doming shape in my belly. It is likely that you have a postpartum condition called diastasis recti. Nothing to freak out about, but we can do something about it. We can retrain and re-strengthen your core, and that's what we need to do. So if you're noticing, as you push those weights overhead, that you got that doming, the coning, and when you put the weights down, and just do arms only, okay? Got it, all right. Step, tap it out. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. We've got flies. As we walk to the left and to the right, so your arms are in a semi-circle shape. As you lift, using those shoulders and your upper back. Nice job. Last one right here. Good. Marching it out. You got it. We're gonna punch, tap, yes. If you're feeling too much strain on your back during your punch, then I don't want you to punch out all the way. I want you to do a half punch, okay? Again, goes along. The low back pain goes along with strength the need to strengthen our postpartum cores and get strong again. All right, let's go. Nice and quick. Really pump those arms. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna travel forward. Oh yeah, and backwards. Okay guys, I just hit my hip with the weight. Make sure that doesn't happen. Try to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, if you want to go a little slower, right? take the knee up higher. You can feel free to do that. You guys got it. All right, bring those arms down. I want you to keep moving. Knee, if you need a drink, go ahead. We're gonna repeat these one more time. We got this, guys, right? We got this. Honoring your body and going a little bit slower or putting the weights down if we need to. Okay, let's bring back the marches when you're ready. All right, we're gonna get ready for it. We're gonna rack the right arm here. Left arm goes up. Come on, two more. Switch. Good. 
Come on, last two. Yes, keep marching it out. Bring those arms up overhead. Okay, again, paying attention to what's happening in your midline. If you are doming or coning down there, arms only, okay? There is no shame in the modification game at all, especially when it comes to postpartum, right? Okay, you those weights. Almost done with these shoulder presses. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. I want you guys to bring the weights down. We're gonna go to one side of the mat. We've got our flies and down. We got tap, tap, sidewalk. Yeah.
All right, come into the back. Here's what we got. We got a scoop bicep curl. I'm kind of hinged forward. Let me show you from the side. It's like a scoop and a curl. And you walk forward and repeat as you go back. Think about like scooping up water from the beautiful Caribbean Sea. Nice job.
place things down. Okay, I want you to cool down. So, place your weight down, move your body around the room. Okay, we're gonna do a little stretchy stretch, okay? A little static stretching. Breathing, getting your heart rate down. I want you to take your right arm across your chest and the left arm is gonna come underneath. You can still move. <laughs> you can still move while you're cooling down here. And while you're stretching. That right uh, shoulder. Whew. All right, other side. Left arm crosses over, right arm comes under. Whew. Oh yeah, these babies are awake now, right? <sighs> nice work. Okay, tricep, stretch. You want to take your hand. Give yourself a big pat in the back. You did awesome today. Okay, what you're going to do with the left hand is you're going to take that left hand and I want you to grab it and pull. Okay, so here's what you're going to see. Here's what I want you to see. When your ribs are down, I don't want you to stretch like this. Because I'm really not stretching my triceps there. I'm really just stretching out my midline, my midsection. And not necessarily something you want to do in postpartum and or if you're doing diastasis recti and or if you're trying to strengthen your post at C-section core. Left hand. <sighs> okay guys, I want to tell you, I'm really happy and proud of you that you joined me today. Now, if you have not yet retrained your post part of body, your core. If you have not learned how to strengthen your transverse abdominis, it's the most important thing you can do for yourself in postpartum healing. And I'm gonna put the link down below for how to do that. Core training. That's your TBA or your TA, the transverse abdominis. Okay, last stretch. I want you to take your right foot by where the shoelaces are. Nice quad stretch here. And of course, as for any of my other videos, if you need more stretching, I want you to take all the time you need. If you want a foam roll, take that time. It's so important. As moms, I know we're always so on the go. If your body is telling you it needs you to do something, please do it. Just yield and do what your body is telling you. Guys, you did awesome. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like workouts like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video or a short from me in the future. And make sure to download the Flat Belly After Baby ebook. It's free. It's all down below. I'll see you in the next one.